be on YouTube tonight, huh? <laughs> Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I haven't put out a video in about two weeks now and it's eating me alive, but I've just been so busy and uh, I haven't shot any video in two weeks, but I've got video, you wouldn't believe how much video I have saved up from this summer, spring, last year, the year before, <laughs> so about February, mid to late February, I put up a video announcement about a beekeeping workshop or a beekeeping class on a commercial yard and not many people watch that so you may not even know what I'm talking about but I videoed that and I hope you enjoy it we had a really good turnout super time great teaching great people showed up amazingly a lot of people showed up it stormed really bad the morning of the event flooded out a lot of South Louisiana South Mississippi uh, matter of fact, there's even a, a beekeeper who's on YouTube who lost most of his apiary to it. They all, uh, all of his boxes washed up into a swamp. So, uh, that didn't dampen anybody's spirits. We had a great time. And so, here it is. Bees on the pole. Check it out. We're here for the big old bee class. It's supposed to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 120, 150 beekeepers here. Everybody's suiting up. How's it going? Good. Now, I enjoy at the house. I get, that's why I drink my coffee every morning from beef. See, I wear shorts and then wear the rest of my bee suit and a t-shirt up under this and then <laughs> Max says you're this woman that strips the quickest. <laughs> Mississippi, uh, this time of year to grow bees because they can't grow them in Minnesota in January, February, in March. So they grow their bees here and then they take all the bees on trucks to Minnesota and North Dakota and make honey. And they make a lot of honey. Um, how many tanker loads? How, how many tanker loads of honey last year? Twenty. Twenty. Not quite. Only twenty. Only twenty. The year before it was it was like twenty four. The year yeah. before that. Okay. When I say tanker loads, I'm talking about an eighteen wheeler tanker. Not like a barrel. You, yeah, not <laughs> barrels. This is eighteen wheeler tankers. So this is in the millions of gallons of honey. Okay. So if y'all read on Craigslist that these people make a lot of honey, I was not exaggerating. They're one of the biggest beekeeping operations that operates out of Mississippi. Um, probably the only other one that was this bigger is probably Richard A.D. Yeah. Um, Richard A.D. is the largest beekeeper in the world that, that I know of. He's got about 80,000 hives. Okay, so uh, Darren Strauss, Tommy McCaffrey over here, Pat McCaffrey. <laughs> I love it. Kids getting involved. Uh, maybe that's not a kid, might just be a short woman. Check out all that activity. What's up, man? How you doing? All right. You holding the lid on over there? Uh -huh. You holding that lid on? These are flying bees, and I'm gonna hold them down. <laughs> <laughs> Making around, seeing what's going on. Had a real good turnout. We got a few groups running. There's a group inside waiting to go. Another group way in the back, back there. And I'm just kind of hanging out and helping where I can. You got one, dude? Yes, sir. I'm headed back in the back where they're putting the nuke boxes together. Got to suit up for this this part of the adventure adventure class. You ready? <laughs> you got one box, right? I got another one over there. It's just not filled oh, up you yet. You got two, okay. Yep. 
Good deal. Here's what's going on in the back. Got a good group of beekeepers back here putting together nuke boxes. Quite a few brand new beekeepers, a few with a little bit of experience, and then a few really long time beekeepers back here teaching and helping put everything together. <laughs> almost made a mistake. I'm not used to this new jacket yet. I almost forgot to zip it up all the way. Had a couple of vendors show up today. Hey, are they charging extra for carrying 500 bees home on your back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm carrying these home. I'm taking the jacket off and put it right in the back of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> this is for our empty boxes for our new top bar hive. Oh, yeah, that's extra for that. That's a professional spotting right there. Yeah. Day three, whenever those eggs hatch, whenever they're going to, if you have a queen of the they're going to start doing that out. They only have a. So they don't make them. So if I put that in the end, they don't have enough time to. You need to frame a brood, though. That's all I'm doing. They're good, actually. They're coming up. Ready. Being going right now. Oh, the queen. I did a good idea. Yeah. She's in here. He wants you to look for it, Richard. Oh. Saying, so you know what you're looking at. You got to practice spotting her. I see her. Right. Oh, right there. there By my go. thumb. Yeah. Right there. He want to make your five frame from the same height because if you put like another frame, another right. beast from another height, they kill it right away. Right. Your okay. queen, so, you know, so we need. Put her in there and he's going to pull up in that same hive. Mm -hmm. okay. All the bees is going to be with the same hive, with the same queen. You mix it, they kill right away. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing at you. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> You found her? No, didn't find her yet. I don't see her. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Everybody's out here queen spotting. We got Francisco over here helping us. Francisco's a professional bee wrangler. Francisco <laughs> bee wrangler. He does this every day. That's what everybody else out here is doing too. Everybody's spotting queens and putting nukes together. Francisco's the man. I got confidence in Francisco. Francisco's on it. Couldn't find out either. Might be out with a boyfriend somewhere. That's it. She might have flown. I wouldn't mark her. I want to borrow Mark. Good man. I love you, man. I love you. You gonna load me up on what you put in there? This 
So this is how it's going. We got professionals like Francisco helping spot queens for the queens that are difficult to find because some of them are a little elusive. Can you come find this one too? And then he'll <laughs> and then he'll point them out to so we've been looking just as long for this one. the guys that are in the class and are not point her out, but hold out the frame that she's on and let them try to find her. You know, just kind of narrows it down, makes it easier to find her, and gives you a little practice for when you're at home trying to spot her. But they are marking them before they stick them in the box. So Bernard, how long have you been looking for this queen? Uh, same amount of time we've been looking for that one. We started both boxes the same, about 20 minutes. Dude, Francisco is going to point her out in five seconds. Yeah, I'm saying, watch this. Yeah, my head. This is a day in the life. <laughs> Look at his head. So he's got his head. <laughs> you ain't got much on you. Yeah, they don't like me. They don't like me. <laughs> they love y'all. When well, I can't find the queen, she's up under the empty. <laughs> She didn't take a vacation on me. Here, we'll just lay this up here. Maybe she'll back up to it and mark herself. underneath and that's all I mean. I made it look really yeah, I made, made it, it look too easy too easy yeah and, so it, and, and, and then easy. and then you just gently place it in there like that so you see it in there yeah yeah, yeah. maybe need a little more light nope. but yeah it's just super tiny blue bars yeah. that's how we store the queens and okay. see they're plugged they can't go out until you put them in your eye and i see like the candy Yes. Yep. What candy. is that? Candy is just um, powdered oh, sugar, powdered sugar, sugar, corn sugar, syrup, and a little, little, little bit of honey. Oh, so you make it yourself? Yeah, we just like all that powdered yeah, sugar there. Be on YouTube tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight, but soon. Board number one. We're fixing to drag him sideways. That's all part of beekeeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes the troops. They're done now. <laughs> uh, have fun. All right. <laughs> Class is over. All that's left is the crime. Empty donut boxes. <laughs> Went pretty good, huh? We got time. Yeah, we had about 60 people show up. Thank you, uh, YouTube viewers, for sharing and, and uh, posting and commenting. Uh, we had about 60 people show up, and we had uh, they took home probably somewhere around 100 nukes. So it was a really good day. Mm. Rain held off. Uh, we were expecting a downpour, but it really it really turned out real good. So thank y'all. Thank you to our suppliers too that showed up. We had uh, Dixie Bee Supply, uh, Southern States Bee Supply, and uh interview intercover interview intercover be gold honey 
and so the state bee supply showed up and they uh they did a good job a lot of people got some equipment while they were here and bee suits and all that kind of stuff all these boxes are empty these are just bees that have come in over the course of the day that's it end of the show the donuts are gone the drinks are gone this was part of the class for the beginners to come through and see kind of what they'd be looking for in the boxes and then they went out to the yard to spot queens and make up nukes Yeah, I didn't show much of the grafting room. I'll get a oh. shot in the fridge since everybody's out of the way. <laughs> Check out all those queens. <laughs> Look at that. I hear them moving. Oh, there's a, a few of them trying to come out. There you go. Right there. Can you see that? Ah, estos son tuyos, chaval. Son míos. Estos son tuyos, ¿eh?